Hey everybody, hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenerf here. Once again, I'm playing in the Untap Open League, and this is my deck. This is Mono White Hate Bears, featuring our good friend Luris of the Dream Den. So, the idea basically is just that we're trying to make everything our opponent does as uh, cost prohibitive as possible. And we use cards like Mother of Runes for protecting our own creatures and for sneaking through some damage. Other than that, just lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of mana ramp. You know, Thorn as an additional copy of Thalia, essentially. Only one Path to Exile, only one removal spell on the main board, which is Path to Exile instead of Swords because we have Leon and Arbiter. So, really quickly, I'll go over the Hate Bears. We have uh, Kataki as one of. It's legendary, and while artifacts are ubiquitous in the format, the effect isn't as good as, say, like an Energy Flux. Uh, just one more in the sideboard. Leon and Arbiter hits Searching. Uh, Leon and Relic Warder is our actual anti-artifact shenanigan card. It also helps us against Oath, which I don't believe is in the meta right now, but in general, you know, this is something you can do against Oath because it hits enchantments. Ta-da! Phyrexian Revoker shuts down miscellaneous uh, activated abilities. Also, uh, you may notice <laughs> there's a, a lot of non-white mana in this mono-white deck. <clears throat> Uh, Phyrexian Revoker is the most easily castable creature in the deck. We have Remorseful Cleric for Evasion and for Graveyard Hate, and with Luris this can be recurred. Spirit of the Labyrinth to hit Card Draw and Thalia because uh, having attacks is is pretty important in this format, you may, you may imagine. Uh, in addition we have Chalice of the Void, we have Deafening Silence as a one of Stony Silence, and then 19 Lands, which may sound low, but remember we have a ton of Mana Rocks as well. One Flagstones of Trocare, so that we can Ghost Quarter it and get White White if we need. Uh, otherwise, it's just a land that the opponent can't strip mine without giving us another card afterwards. Uh, but it is legendary, so it's hard to have more than one. Uh, and then we have Ghost Quarter as a two of, because we have one Strip Mine and four Wasteland already, and Ghost Quarter plays well with uh, Leon and Arbiter. Two Caracas for legendary creatures, but again, there's not really Oath right now. Can also be used against Hogak, for instance. Uh, and then nine Snow Covered Plains. Again, our companion is Luris, and then here's our 14 card, well, it's 15, but whatever, 14 card sideboard. Ta-da! So everything in the deck uh, applies Luris. Lur I will always declare Luris as my companion. No reason not to. Uh, and then we have, for our opponent, this is Carmenova's deck. It's bug midrange. It's, uh, I think, I think this is pretty much the Carmenova special. This is, a f so four Deathrite Shaman, two Collector Ufi, oof, uh, three Tarmogoyf, one Brazen Borrower, three Leovold Emissary of Trest. So, whereas last time we played against Shops, this time we're playing against Blue Midrange Shenanigans. Two Oko, I guess what Phyrexian Revoker's naming, and then sort of the usual stuff. What's important to note here is that they're, uh, you know, they have Fatal Push, Flusterstorm does basically nothing, Mental Misstep hits Mom, uh, Ponder Preordain, Abrupt Decay is something to watch out for. Hopefully we can tax them to the point where that won't matter. Uh, we don't have Caverns, so Days can actually work on us. Uh, Force of Negation hits our hate pieces, but not our hate creatures, and so on. So we're actually, I would say, probably not terribly favored. It seems like it might be approximately even between the two of us. Do my uh, answers line up to their threats? Uh, so we will find out. Oh, and by the way, I get to go first. Cool. Alright, so let's see. We're going to start off with a turn one uh, snow-covered plains into... A deafening silence. It that's this is certainly not the kind of matchup where deafening silence immediately wins it for you, but it's not bad. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it'll keep them from spamming a bunch of cards on their first turn. If you're going to get it, turn one is the t is the place to do it. All right. So Carmi might not be <laughs> Carminova might not be there right now. I see this is faded out. Uh, yep, they're back. Da da. There we go. Da, 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 da. All right. Oh no, they're letting it resolve. Okay, that's maybe what was going on. Debating, uh, let it resolve or not. They do, after all, have force and force, and they have mental misstep. So uh, that's all right. If they had mental misstep, this is probably where you fire it off because there aren't too many one drops in my deck. It's the four moms, deafening silence, and path. And I believe that that's it, actually. Oh, yeah, crap. Might help if I actually uh, sent that off. Oops. Yeah, was, I, I, I guess Arena has ruined me. Now, in Arena, when you have nothing else to do, it passes the turn for you. 
uh, but here, not not so much. Not quite. Nope. Nope. So I have uh, unsweet tea and I have coffee to get me a buy. Get this around the computer. Let's not have a mishap. Oh god, that would be that would be fun. And then we will draw. Alright. Uh, let's play out the mom first. I want to protect Thalia as best I can. Alright, make sure that this is good. It may come back and bite me that I'm not playing the Thalia early, because we're giving our opponent another turn to set up, but we might be able to make this work. Hmm. Alright, and because Deafening Silence only cares about non-creature spells, there's the other one. Make sure we're good. You know, as you do. And we might be we might very well be on the uh, Thalia beatdown plan, in just a sec. Oh. Oh, uh, pitching brainstorm. Alright, and it's good. Not exile, there we go. Alright, we'll give them a chance to clean up the force real quick. Uh, and that's their only one. Uh, well, maybe, okay, maybe we'll just let it go and then they'll pick it up. See if there's anything else. Uh, they can't play anything else this turn, actually, because of the deafening silence. Uh, but, we'll see. Alright, from play to graveyard, cool. Alright. This is a uh, interesting timing because they can't do it on this turn. Uh, I I think it's probably better to do it on upkeep, but we'll we'll find out. Maybe they have something else they're up to. All right, that, so they drew. Okay, so now it is their turn. Uh, interesting timing for that. It it works out. It doesn't it doesn't actually matter, to be fair. It's not like I have a vial to flash in an arbiter or something. You know, welcome to modern. <laughs> no. Oh. Move myself down just a little bit. Oh, that feels more comfy. This creaky wall behind me. Welcome to the backdrop. Just... As much as I like this kind of canvas print, canvas print style painting, Oh, hell, you're good for. Ah, <sighs> give me a sec. I am tired. It's alright, just a day at work, that's all. I'll be alright. It'll be okay. Oop. So, it, I don't have any counter spells, but if I did, Deafening Silence is a way to make sure you don't lose counter wars. They cast a spell, you counter it, and then they can't counter back. Uh, but the kind of deck that would play a bunch of counter spells is probably not the kind of deck that wants to play Deafening Silence. Just for that one little interaction. You have to have more than that, and of course we do. Hmm. That said, I could see a uh, an Azorius creature deck playing cards like Thalia, Lavinia, Meddling Mage that might want to go for something like that. Alright, what you got? Deathrite Shaman, Deathrite Shaman. We do make Deathrite Shaman a little less good because we ourselves don't run lands that go into the graveyard except for our uh, like Strip Mine, Wasteland, those kinds of cards. Land Destruction cards. Right, give them a moment. Give them a moment. Karma's probably pretty tired too, I would imagine. M for much the same reason, I would think. Ooh. Uh, it did come in last turn. Alright, let me see. Reveal to... Alright, cool. There we are. Alright, they want to make sure it doesn't get online this coming turn. So we'll untap everything. Draw. Alright. Let's try it again. I'm not going to run out this Thalia until I can be sure that it can live. It's just too good. Although, we are getting to the point pretty soon where it's not going to matter. 
where the taxes. So maybe I actually should run it out here. No, no, no. Let's play it safely. Alright, and then this is the wait for response. Make sure that it resolves. It might, it might not. Alright, no response. Have all of the mobs. <laughs> Mom group on Facebook. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know. Don't daze me, bro. Yeah, yeah. daze does not get there, of course. And they can't gush. They, they don't have two islands. <laughs> you know one of those super cringy mom groups you happen to see on Facebook? Yeah, that. That's what we're, that's what we're going on here. Oh dear. Oh dear. <sighs> Keeping the glasses on because they help me with uh, if I'm staring at a screen all day, it helps to reduce glare and blue light so it's not as straining on me. It works out. It's nice. This was actually a Christmas gift for my folks, so appreciate it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna say no response. Alright. Well, that's a problem. Thalia, I may have waited a little too long on the Thalia, as it turns out. Let's, we'll, we'll see. We'll find out. Yeah. They could, if they have the double days, then we want to play the land first, for sure. Alright, and now she should be protected. She should be good to go. Uh, no artifacts yet for either of us, so the Stony Silence may not be ideal. Let's take a look at their list. The artifacts that they have are Black Lotus and the Moxen. Since we already have a board established, I am tempted to run this thing out. Thinking. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. Let's go to one. Or, let's go to a, a combat and swing for one. And S1 is swing one, just to clarify for the opponent that I have finalized my attacks. Alright. Interesting. Main two. Uh, we can't, because we have Thalia out. It's probably for the better, though. We'll pass. Yeah, if I, I should have done it the other way around, but then I would have opened Thalia up to days. So it, it's alright. It's not ideal. I, I didn't play that correctly, perhaps, but we'll see. So they can draw three cards, sure. Uh, or they can use it like a Miri's Guile. Uh, but they are under a clock, and... There is a tax, and they can't play more than one a turn anyway. Now, Breeze and Borrower we know is a, is a viable option here. They did the right thing and kept the Misty Rainforest back until after the Sylvan. So, Sylvan Library lets you look at the top three cards. You can put them back in any order, and you can also draw up to two extra cards. But for each card you draw, you have to pay four life. In some matchups, this is just... You know, you're, you're going to get to draw four extra cards for 16 life, which often won't matter. In this matchup, though, the life total does potentially matter, especially when you're facing a board that kind of has you locked down a little bit. Uh, so, uh, now that said, they can put the three cards back, draw a card, fetch. And they won't lose any life doing that, but they'll also get to sort what goes on top. Oh, so they did draw from deck to hand... And here they are. All right, so they picked one that they liked. If they didn't like anything, then they could try to get a shuffle. Uh, I, I like the way that they did this, though. Now, we could potentially be under a clock as well. If we only attack with Thalia, then Brazen Barber actually is faster than we are. Uh, what's this? Oh, oh okay, some one-mana spell. One because of the Thalia attacks. I 
actually not playing the Stony Silence might work out for us here because we could get we could bait them into playing some Moxen to get some extra mana and then punish them with Stony Silence. The risk is that if they happen to have a Black Lotus, they could pay the one, then pop it for three, and still come up out, come out ahead. Whereas with the regular Moxen, the Emerald, Sapphire, and Jet, they'd pay one to potentially gain one, and then they'd lose it. No response. Uh, targeting themselves, <laughs> yep. As you do. As you do. Alright, give me just a sec. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna chill. So dolphins do this neat little thing where they can, uh, they never can really fully go to sleep because they're mammals. They have to breathe air. They have to come back up to the surface. So if they ever completely go to sleep, then they, they die of, you know, uh, suffocation. Uh, but they can turn off half their brain at a time. Put half the brain to sleep at a time so that they at least have enough to get them back to the surface to breathe. I, I'm trying to pull that off, pull that trick off myself. Just let one half of my brain go off, get some rest, and the other half has to try to think about silly magic plays. Alright, so that's their one non-creature for the turn. Oh, but I said they could have a Tarmogoyv or a Deathrite Shaman here. And that would be fun. We are definitely not out of the woods. We don't have a lot of power out. Against a mid-range deck, this hand is not fantastic. Uh, that should be death right, I would think. Yep, it's death right. No response. All right. Ooh, no, that's a that's a good top deck. That's a really good top deck. All right. Uh, so let's go to combat first. Try to hit them for two. We'll see if it works. I'm gonna guess no, because, you know, first strike, all that jazz. Probably not the best. Probably not. We're just gonna try to lock them down as best we possibly can. When I was playing shops, or playing against shops, since I had a stony silence out, in game three I played three Phyrexian Revokers, and each one named a card that not only did they not have in their deck, but uh, didn't have an activated ability, and in some cases didn't do anything. I remember at one point I named Mark Rosewater. At one point I think I named Stormcrow. Good times. As you do. Alright. Come on, let's see if this resolves. Well, they have four cards in hand, so I wouldn't put it past them. It is certainly possible. Oh, they're fetching. Alright, what could it be? So, fetching will allow them to cast a force. And it would need to be actual force of will. Days won't do it. Misstep won't do it. Force of negation won't do it. I think it has to actually be actual factual force of will. Uh, and uh, removal won't do it. Like fatal push. Abrupt decay won't, etc. Now that said, they have four force of will. Uh, no response? Okay, so they're doing it now. Uh, now, Phyrexian Revoker can't name lands. Uh, so let's add note. Deathrite Shaman. Alright, and then we will I click off that and pass the turn because we can't do anything else. So now they have a 1 mana 1 2, which is <laughs> still not Terrible. I like one mana planeswalkers to be fair. To be fair. People like to jokingly say that the first uh, the first one mana or the first planeswalker was Umizawa's Jite, but the first one mana planeswalker is Deathrite Shaman. And I guess still the only one. It would be hard to make a one mana planeswalker not busted? Like, how, what kinds of teeny tiny effects would you have to give them in order to make them not too good at one mana? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, 
one mana and that mana happens to be blue. Uh, plus one, scry one, zero. Uh, hmm. Uh, what would that even be? Zero, name a card. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's that name, you may add it to hand. <laughs> Something silly like that. You couldn't use it with the scry one because they're all at sorcery speed and once per turn. Unless you gave it the ability to use them at uh, on your opponent's turn, like at instant speed. And then minus one. No, just just leave it at those two, actually. Just leave it at those two. And then make its uh, starting loyalty something really low, like two. Or make it one so that even if they plus it can get shocked. I'm trying to make this thing not too powerful, if it's just going to be one mana. Just off the top of my head, Planeswalker Brewing. I suppose you could push it. I don't want to risk it, though. It's a one-mana Planeswalker. Whew. Modern Horizons 2. Uh, Coco, but for three-mana Planeswalkers. Three mana or less. Uh, sure. We're gonna say no response. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, let me, just, let me look at their land base. One forest. No islands. No basic islands. So if I draw a path, it's just better source to plowshares now. Yeah, so it should be creature land instant, I believe. Yep, creature land instant. Alright. Draw. Ooh, okay. Well, they're both green. So we have that going for us. I'm not, I'm not gonna like doing this over and over and over again. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Swing to. Now I have a couple different ways I can try to make this next section work. Uh, because I don't know what to name with Phyrexian Revoker yet, I'm a little wary about doing so. I should probably name Oko. They have four mana, they could get Oko down. And Oko can start turning stuff into Elk. Alright, they uh, have not yet done so. Now. If they play a Fatal Push, I'd have to spend the other mom in order to, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, in order to allow it to work. To keep my Thalia. I can go for Luris, add Luris to hand, and then next turn cast Luris Mom. That may not be the, the worst idea. Alright. Sorry. Hmm. Actually, can you respond to that? I'm not sure that you can. Anyway, uh, how do I open sideboard again? Expand sideboard. Here we go. There you are. Boop. Rawr. Alright, and then we will pass. I'll actually take, if they attack, I won't use Mom. I'll actually take a hit here. I think that's okay. I think that's fine. I, do, I don't want to risk uh, Mom dying. Uh, I'll save Mom in case Fatal Push or Abrupt Decay comes up. Or Oko. Oko no Joko. I will be opening myself up to Daze, but only on the Mom, not the Luris. Alright, so they're doing it. Take eight to concede. I wish. 
If only. I have I have done that before. Um, <laughs> oh, if only. Thank you. You read my mind, Carm. Uh, I have done that before in Legacy. When I was at exactly 8 and I knew there was no way I was getting out of it. Which, I've generally been a fan of Sylvan Library in the sideboard rather than the main board. It depends on the meta, uh, to be sure. And if you're running it either way, you're only running it as one of in all likelihood. But there are enough matchups where it doesn't do enough nowadays that I, I don't usually gun for it. Uh, that said, I also don't play Legacy nearly as much as I used to, so there could have been more of a meta shift after the bans, and I just am not as not as aware, not as familiar with it. Maybe, I don't know. It sounds like the house is about to fall down every time I lean back against this thing. But it's more comfy to have. It gives me a, an actual background instead of just a blank void, but it's more comfy to lean back against it. When I'm playing with Evangeline, when she's like sitting in my lap and we're playing a game, and she's she does the same thing. She leans back against me, but I have to lean forward <laughs> to not lean back as a result. And after a while, that'll get to you. <laughs> that'll, that'll get old really quickly. But I don't know. As as one of our viewers, as Rukulin noted, uh, she's just trying to get me to uh, get get my Pillar Man muscles working or something like that. Oh, I'll assume me one of the Pillar Men. There we go. Do, 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 All right, they only get one, so make it count. Yeah, good times. Oh. Oh. Want to make a, a bad joke like a... Uh, we have a legal principle called, or uh, not legal principle, legal term, jurisprudence here in the U.S. Uh, I want to make a, like, a jurisprudence joke. Alright, what is it? Is it another creature? Uh, two mana, another goif. Goho? Max! <laughs> I've got Goofy from the, the Goofy movie. Max! Max! It's Oko. Oko time. Uh, no? Yes? I knew it! I knew it! There we are. Alright, so going up to six means we're making a food. I'm gonna go for the surprise Phyrexian Revoker. Uh... There it is. There it is. We got there. Uh, so we don't have the mana, unless we draw land here, we don't have the mana to go Phyrexian Revoker and Stony Silence. Not yet. One more mana and we can do that. Uh, normally we would, but Thalia is actually going to bite us just a little bit. Still worth it. Alright, what do we have? Uh, Remorseful Cleric, okay. Do it while we have full mana. I knew it, Carm, if you're watching this afterwards, you saw, I knew I could have named Oko, and maybe I should have. I thought the safer play was adding Lurus to hand. You know the rules, and so do I. Oko, I want to add like a joke name. Oko, uh, Abs, or Thief of Abs, Abs of Crowns. Oko, Pillar Man. <laughs> no, he, he has abs, but he's still kind of skinny elsewhere. He's not a Pillar Man. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, I guess. Uh. Same G to Thalia. Alright. Just saves time. Well, actually, it, it, because I typed it out, it may end up taking longer. It may have ended up taking longer. Swing two. Sweet chariot. Alright. 
<laughs> yup. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I like I like that though. That's like asking a person when they're playing against Sister Recall targeting me. And then we'll do this bit. Um, they do have the mana to daze, but I think that we're okay. I think that we're alright. I'm not too, too terribly worried about it. Just stack all the hate bears. Every last freaking one. Alright, pass turn. Ooh! Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh, oh, oh boy! <laughs> so we can attack with everything. Uh, mom. Oh! One, which one? Uh, so I can't, I can't make the spell with, but I can destroy. I can make it where it only destroys one. Oh, uh, by the way, they pitched a death right shaman. Okay, cool. So two cards left. I think we have to keep the one naming Oko. I think that that's right. All right. Mainboard force. Where are you? There you are. Mainboard force. I mean, that's what happens when they get to look at five trillion cards. Eventually, they'll get there. All right. Now, they can't cast anything else this turn, but if they have Fatal Push or Abrupt Decay, we are in trouble. Barney Rubble. That said, even if they can kill the other Phyrexian Revoker, we could potentially get it back. So, if we get another land, Lurus, Phyrexian Revoker, naming the one that we haven't... Uh, probably Oka, so that we can't keep losing our creatures. Alright, do you have it? Do you have Push or Decay? I will eat it with Deathrite Shaman. Alright, let me move you over here. There we are. Yeah, unfort- oh, never mind. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so they're they're playing around the, uh... Playing around the lures that they know I have in hand. And because they're doing this end of turn, they'll still be able to do it on the next turn. So they're gonna mess up lures pretty hard here. Hopefully they don't have a, a removal spell, though. Hopefully. Dear goodness. Uh, and we're not sacking Remorseful just to make it where they don't gain the life. If there's literally no other creature in the yard, we could do that just to make it whiff. But that's not much. That's not much at all. And we'd still have a creature in the yard at that point. Alright, you have a window, you have a moment. How are you going to take care of this? How are you going to get through this? Uh, we do have an airborne clock, a 2-1, but Deathrite Shaman will now gain them 2 life, so it's not as big of a deal. That said, there is a limit to the number of creatures that we have. <sighs> Oh my back. <sighs> Scryed. Oh, okay, okay. Just that's just the way that they're doing it with the mechanics of the of untap. They're not actually scry. It's just look at the top X cards, I would suppose. Ah, oh, long day. How long have we been recording? It's 35 minutes? Ah <laughs> Oh, a game, one game, 35 minutes of one game. 
Alright. That's okay. I haven't been the fastest at playing either. And also, to be fair, they are playing a decently complicated deck. Credit where credit's due. By the way, just real quick, let's see what creatures they have in their yard. They don't. Okay, so once they take out the Frexen Revoker, uh, they're at a virtual 9, but they can't go any higher than that until they kill stuff. Until they kill stuff. Alright. Uh-oh. Two mana. Nope, never mind. I see two mana, I think, Abrupt Decay. Which is, I believe, a three of? Uh, yep, three of. Alright. Fatal Push. Abrupt Decay. Fatal Push. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, no. Well, they can be sure that I don't have another land in hand. Otherwise, I absolutely would have played it there. There's Abrupt Decay. Yep, targeting the one. Alright. I can't save it. Oko can now turn Thalia, or a mom, into an elk. And yeah, it starts to get it starts to get silly from here. Alright. Yep. Who are we targeting? Remorseful Cleric. <laughs> no, this is Patrick. It, it turned out it was wrong to use the Mother Runes to get some damage through, but if I don't create some sort of clock, I lose anyway, so... In hindsight, it was, the, it was correct to be patient, um, especially since I had the Remorseful Cleric. I could potentially have... I dub your Cleric an Elk. Remorseful, cleric. No, you're th <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was about to say. Uh. Thank you. Okay. Let's see. Uh, how do I add the? Uh... All right. An elf. There we go. <laughs> All right. We'll just pretend that she's a three-three, or maybe I can. I, I know there's a way to add two counters onto her like this. Let's see. How do I add that? Oh, I hit three, and then can I add loyalty counters? Or can I just do this again? There we go. We got there. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> Elk and a sexy one at that. Alright, well, are we getting there with the mono elk plan? Oh, by the way, uh, still artifact in yard. So we have instant land creature artifact. So 4 5 is correct. Oh, we're going to lose to bug mid range at this rate. We're not out of the woods just yet. If we can, even if we don't get a land, we'll cast Luris here, and we can try to stave off, like, even if they attack, because we have a lifeline creature, we can try to stave off the inevitable. Uh, also, we're at 20, they're at 7. We'll get there eventually, it's just going to take us a hot sack. And we may very well need to keep both moms, one for Oko and one for, uh, silliness, <laughs> one for Abrupt Decay, Fatal Push. Uh, already used up by force. Man, jeez. Oh. 
You know, it may sound silly, it, it does sound silly, but there are times when I wonder which one would win, a vintage deck or a no ban list modern deck. Bearing in mind that, of course, vintage has a restricted list, so even for the most broken of cards, you get to play them, you can only run one, though. No ban list modern lets you run four ofs for cards that, some of which are uh, restricted in vintage, like chalice. So. I don't know, I, I could see potentially a, mo a no ban list modern deck doing it against Vintage just because it gets to break rules like that. Uh, you, I'm <laughs> getting to run four chalices, that seems okay. That seems a little, little, little nice. You get to run four treasure crews, four dig through time. Uh, you might be able to outpace the Vintage deck, strangely enough. still get to run cards like Collector Ufi. Test. Que. Nani. Nani. <laughs> Making sure I wasn't lagging out. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, that might be why we had some sort of crazy... Oh, no, it's my turn! Does that change anything? No. Because the only thing that we care to hit here, unfortunately, is the library. Alright, first let's establish the Luris, I suppose. No, 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 no. Let's go to combat first. hi -ya. Yeah, two in the air. Gotta mess up that face. Alright. Main two. Luris. Lewis of the Dwing Den. See what we have going on here. I turned into the preach from the bishop. Uh, turned into the bishop from the Princess Bride. Mowage. Mowage is what brings us together today. And love, true love, will follow you forever. All right. Make them do it on. Uh, their turn. If they try to do it on my turn, they'd have to do it at some weird timing, like upkeep, to keep me from, or draw step, to keep me from casting it. Because once it's already on the stack, it's not in the yard anymore. Alright, so they go back to seven. Again, they're at a virtual nine. I actually considered running Giver of Runes in this deck, and maybe I should have. I wanted to be careful about overloading on one drops, though. Uh, but Giver actually gives protection from Colorless, but can't give it to itself. So, you can't use it to protect itself against, say, like a Fatal Push. That's where it's balanced. Uh, but yeah, protection from Colorless. <laughs> is Colorless a color? No, Patrick. Colorless is not a color. I actually I, uh, created that for... Uh, while we're waiting... There we go. Yeah, while we're waiting, let me see if I can add that real quick, so I can show that off to people. Uh, Alright, so they're still going. I'm going to watch their... I'm going to tab back in. I'll tab back in every now and then to make sure we aren't missing anything. That won't take me too long to get to this. Here we are. <laughs> 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 
No, Patrick. Colorless is not a color. Okay, no reason to show that other than just maybe make somebody laugh, that's all. Alright. They're, they're still thinking. Give them a moment. Right, let me see if I can show off another one real quick. Another silly one. <laughs> hmm. Three, three. Uh, okay, actually, shaken, remorseful cleric. All right, let me let me think. Actually, let's let's get out of this and think about that for a moment, because that's an interesting line. There's no reason for them not to try it, I suppose. Um. Pro G, OG. All right, do you have a second one? And if they do have a second, like if they burn a, a uh, like abrupt decay here, well, that's their last one. So I'll, I can use the other mother runes to protect it. And that's it. They won't be able to fire off with anything else. So this effectively... I I mean, even if they have a second, even if they have, like, Abrupt Decay Fatal Push, they won't be able to use both in the same turn. So we should be alright. Should be. Theoretically, they could go one on my turn, go to their turn, Oko, and then one on their turn. And that would overwhelm me. Hi, Deathrite. Again? It's, it's not as bad when it's redundant, though. Although they can start not draining. They can start hitting me for two uh, pretty quickly here. That's that's going to be fun. Only one more creature in the yard. So, death right to eat it now. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me say no response. I mean, it's open deck list, so they know I don't have a response, but, you know. Actually, I do, because Dahlia is... You may get to have a uh, sneak peek of T1 Stoneforge Mystic here in a sec. I'm gonna try anyway. All right, seven to nine, so that they could eat at him. Sure, there's a way to just quickly move the whole thing, but oh, we didn't get there. Let's see. Ah, it says that she is on. Okay. Uh, whose turn is it still? What is going on? Take that off. Take that off. All right. All right. So while we're recording, we're also going to try to talk to... Oh, she's there. Gonna try to play at the same time. See if we can make this work. Hello! Hi! Hi! You yeah, see them? Glasses. You like my glasses? Yeah. I'm glad you do. I can't see you. You can see me though, apparently. Here, give me a quick sec. Did you? Oh, nope, that, t that turned mine off. Let's see. I can't see your picture though. Oh, oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. Hey, it took it a sec. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me see if this. Oh, did it turn me sideways? Oh, it did turn me sideways, didn't it? Oh wait, no. Maybe. Why is it showing the other way? Ah! Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Here, let me see if I can flip it. Or... I turned it upside down. Let me see if I can flip it. Hey, there it goes. <laughs> 
I'm working on it. We're getting it all sorted out. We're 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 okay. I'm alright. How are you, honey bunny? I had my work and I was playing a uh um you know the, the card game I like to play? That I showed you a bit? Yep. I've been playing that. So that's fun. I I'm not doing super duper well, but it's okay. It's alright. I am tired. I am sleepy. I didn't get my nap today. <laughs> Did you get your nap today? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good, silly boots. Only got one, though. Only got one? Uh, fair enough. That's alright. Fair enough. Mwah. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, it's good. It is so good to see. It's always good to see you, Evangeline. I love it you. Tomorrow, yeah. We get to see each other again. That's at the right. Fire station this time. That's right. We'll see each other at the fire station. You got it. You're a smart little kiddo. You know that? Uh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You are so welcome, silly boots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little nose, little wiggle nose. I'm trying. I'm trying to do my wiggle nose. <laughs> I'd try. Uh, oh, so what have, have you been doing any reading today? You've been uh, practicing your reading? What? Have you been practicing your reading? Oh, you're, you're reading, Evangeline. Like, uh, like reading books. Okay, so I'm going to head over to the library tomorrow, Evangeline, before I get you. So you know how we can check out books on our computer now? We can check out books and pick them up? Is there a certain kind of book you would like for me to get for you so we could read together? Oh, you would have to show me when I get there. Yeah, I didn't know if there was something you wanted to, like a, a book about space or animals or... If there was some other story you wanted me to check out? Maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> You're so I funny! Don't I don't know what stuff they have. That's fair. Uh, yeah, they have lots of books. I know what they have, it's just it's been such a long time I forgot. That's fair too. <laughs> that will that will definitely do it for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's oh. been a long time since I've with you gone to the library. That's right. It's a particular library. Yeah, it's been a while. You're right. For sure. It has. Oh. I don't go for a while, actually. Well, actually, not that long ago for a while, because remember that one time we went? Yeah, I, well, to me it feels like it's been a while, but it may not be as long to you. It, it seems like it's longer to me. Yeah. Oh, at first it seemed like it was longer, but it was way longer. Yeah. Remember those other, like, three times we went? Okay. I actually made up with the time. Yeah. We didn't go. We used Actually, to go yeah. to the library a lot. Oh, my, my hand is in the way, isn't it? There we go. <laughs> Hi, so funny. Here, let me, let me put them on you. Oh, there you are. <laughs> it doesn't work quite the same. Not quite. What? Well, maybe. There we go. There we are. <laughs> All right. Oh, you are... What, you are. <laughs> I like your little binocular hands. You can see far away. When we're doing our pirate ship, maybe you can be the one that's looking out for land. The one that goes way to the top of the ship. Oh, that reminds me. I saw a video that I think that you might like, Evangeline. It's a it's a company that uh, not a company, like a a, a crew, a bunch of people that got together and made cardboard boxes shaped like a pirate ship. So they made their own pirate ship. 
Yeah, I... I'll bet, Evangeline. I have an idea. You have an idea? Your idea first. Yeah. The top pieces off, which we might need to use, and then put a little sail yeah. here. Then put a little paint bar here as a flag and draw something on our flag. We could do that. What if Evangeline, then, instead of just... We something to steer with. That's right, the steering that wheel. That would be the tricky part. That would be the tricky part. That's uh, the yeah. tricky part. What if instead of just one box, we used a whole lot of boxes to make a pirate ship? If it's not too windy outside, or if it's not raining, we could go outside and put, stack the boxes around and pretend that they're a pirate ship. Hoist up the thing, man the now what's it? What's that thing spinning? Somebody should stop it. <laughs> ship on to port. That's not port! Now I've got it. <laughs> Trust me, I'm in control. <laughs> Aw. We could do one of our sea songs together while we're sailing. So, that's my idea for a ship. I like now, that idea. Now if let's put our heads together to make... to find out uh, pirate ship that we could do. Arrgh! <laughs> a pirate ship that we could do. Yeah, if we only have one box, your idea is definitely good. If we have more than one box, we could do my idea. If we have a lot of boxes. Because I, I like your idea of taking a box, getting the hole, putting a flag in it, drawing a flag. <gasps> oh, I'll tell you what. Would you, Evangeline... <laughs> yeah? You, you be the one to do the flag design. Uh, we could take turns. Unless you want to be the first mate. Uh, oh, I know. I yeah? Could, I know. You could be the first mate for the first round, and I could be the pirate for the first round. And then we could just switch. Okay. Hey, that works. Unless you, unless you want to do separate votes. We, we'll have enough time. We can do it more than one way. So we could do it your way, and my way. We could take turns doing different roles. One of us will be the first mate, the other will be the captain, and we can switch. So we'll have enough time. We can do it different ways. Okay, and we'll need some cardboard, and we'll need to cut it. We need some long cardboard, and we'll need to cut it like water. Yeah. Like scraping up and down water, and then we'll need to color it blue. That can be our water. There we go. You know, we have the uh, the TV box. We could go over to uh, Mama Lynn and Pops and get their TV box. That's long. That's great. And then we'll just need to cut it like like is it cardboard? We might yes. need cardboard. Yes, yes, they'd be cardboard. We could, flag holds? we could probably use something like tape, since paper isn't very heavy. The tape might be strong enough just to hold it up, and we'll get one of those thicker, like cart, like a, a construction paper. The thicker kind of paper that'll stay up on its own. We have plenty of construction fun. paper. Yeah. So, uh, how we, uh... What stuff should we put on our boat? Hmm. And draw. And draw. What should we do with a boat we have now? What should we do with a boat we have now? <laughs> um, so, so water at the bottom. Should... I guess we could draw water at the bottom to make it look like the waves. I have an idea. Okay, what's your idea? Maybe we 
what's your idea for sand? I have no idea what's a idea for sand on DOS. No idea what a good idea for sand is. <sighs> oh, I hear Lily. <laughs> I hear Lily. <laughs> For sand, uh, that could be like a tan color. Tan what? is like a tan is like brown and yellow together, I guess, like a light brown. But, uh, that will work. Okay. Me, what material should we make it out of? Because the board is gonna be sitting on it. Oh, okay. So it's not gonna be drawn on the cardboard. It's what the boat is sitting on. Oh, okay. That makes more it's sense. It's not the sand, but the water ah. is going to be on the sand. I have an uh, idea. I have an idea. What? So, Evangeline, I have... Here, let me, let me show you. I have a sheet that is sand-colored. See, like a bed sheet. We could use that for sand. Great! There we go. And that way we could put it on top. If that sounds good to you. Yeah. So we're gonna put that sheet in the middle of the floor. Yeah. Get our uh, wave stuff set and ready. Yeah. Get our wave, get our wave stuff set and ready. Okay. And get all our uh, uh, and then get all our decorations for the bottom. And okay. Then put our book there, and then I'm gonna step in, and then you're gonna step in. Then we're just Yeah. And then some cut, and then cut out the paper. Yeah. Then somehow we're gonna make a hole in the paper. <laughs> okay, I think we can do so that. We're gonna have to uh, attach it together, which we'll use with super glue. Yeah. Or something like that. Okay. So super glue, and then attach it. Wait for a bit, and then like. Uh, Maybe we'll put something to put the paper, and then we'll color some stuff, and then put it on the stick, and maybe some tape to attach the uh, the paper. But there we go. Okay. And then we we'll need some wind. Need some wind. Okay. Now let's see. For wind, we have a fan. I can make a. I could. We could get a fan and just blow the fan. Yeah. That'll work? Okay. So we've got water, we've got sand, we have wind, we have our flat... Oh, uh, what were you about to say? So, the, that will allow us to have a moving flag. That's right. We'll have a moving flag. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, we should decorate now. I, I'll let you be the one that does the decorating because I like, you may like it when I decorate, I like when you decorate. <laughs> and you also have fun doing that too. So let's let you do the decorating. Okay, so on the left side, we're gonna do a bow at nighttime and all that. On the white right side, we're gonna draw some nighttime. Okay. On the Okay. A little thing that's attached to it, like, no, like... Little thing that's sticking out. Like, something to, like... What about my Mario glasses and your glasses that you're wearing? Yeah. Attached to those. Well, they're not attached, but they're just, like, hanging on it. Just like a decor. Oh, you mean like the like how sometimes there's a person or an animal at the front of the ship, right? Mm -hmm. oh, what do they call those? So how sometimes a ship will have like a mermaid or something like that on the front. Yeah, so something like that on there. Okay, makes sense. So we put our glasses on there. Yeah. But I think I would like mine to be in the front. Well, we can decide that. 
We can decide. Yeah, we can decide that later. That's all right. Yeah. Us laying in the water on the front and on the back is gonna be us having a party on the island. Us having a party on the island. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah? Bye-bye. Oh, you have to go? Okay, Evangeline. I love you very much. I'll see you in one more day, okay? Mm. Okay. Here's my, here's our heart. We do our heart together. Love you, too. Heart time. Oh, so great. Mm -hmm. Ah, I ended it. Okay. Actually, the phone's about to die anyway. All right. Uh, what are we at now? Well, I say that. It says it's at 12%, so unless it shoots down pretty quickly near the end, we actually may have had a bit of time left. Uh, what time is it in real life? It was what, like a little bit more than 15 minute call? Uh, forgot to pay the one from Kataki, right? The elk is still an artifact I think artifact or creature yeah it becomes an elk it doesn't become a non artifact elk we can just it's a creature not an artifact creature let me let me look that up really quickly because I, I was wondering about that Oko, Thief of Crowns. Let me just look at his, his regular page, just to make sure. I, I just want to make sure, because it is a creature for sure. Uh, let me just search Artifact. Just Control F Artifact. The creature keeps... Okay, but loses any other card types it has. Never mind. No Artifact. Oko's second ability overrides all colors and creature types the affected creature has. It's just a green elk. The creature keeps any super types, such as legendary, it has, but loses any other card types it has, such as artifact. Just looked it up. In my defense, at Carmino, if you're watching this later, in my defense, I was a little distracted. A little bit. Also, it, it might very well have been too late to uh, check that out anyway. Alright, so, there at five, I have no more creatures in the yard. Um, yeah, no, not that Kataki does very much at this point. It's a two-one, and that's, that's pretty sweet. But I can't really attack with my creatures on the ground, because they have colorless shenanigans now. They also can't pop the food for life, so we actually are kind of okay in that respect. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Eventually, they'll have to start blocking, and I'm okay with that. Brazen Borrower is the only creature with flying, and it can only block creatures with flying. We will eventually get to the point where I can just swing on the ground, but I'm trying to wait. Pro blue. Pro. You know what I mean. Since I've been using you to also mean you the person, I'm just, I guess, clarifying. Not that it matters, but you know, they, they got it. Carmenova is many things and an idiot is not one of them, for sure. For sure. All right. So they could fire off a removal spell here to kill it. If I give it pro blue, then I make it where... Okay, okay, so then Oka would be able to steal something. Because uh, of the way it target artifact... Well, not steal something, but turn it to an elk, and then later steal something. Ta-da! Or actually, it could steal stuff now. Uh, exchange... Yeah, yeah. 
target creature and opponent controls. Yeah, so we, we don't want to we don't have to deal that. Deal with that. Let's uh, pass turn. Next turn we can shoot for lethal. They'll be able to turn this into an elk. They'll have five creatures. All right, let's find out what they have. By the way, let me look at how many brazen bar. They have one brazen bar. Okay. Fatal Push. Targeting Mom. Ah, uh, well that's a drag. I mean, we have... we can't... we can't save her with Mom. Because if we do, then unfortunately we lose something to Oko. Yeah, she's, she's just dead. Man, that's a pain. Mother Runes is great. Alright. And then Rip. Alright. Got you covered. Eat both creatures. Oh, okay, okay. They're eating their own Brazen Barber. Alright. And then, yeah, should still be passed. Alright. So this is a long freaking game. Alright. Uh, yep. So they pay the one. Yup. They paid it with the underground sea. It makes sense. That's the the. They don't want to pay their green if they only have one green left. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. Yeah, no Thali attacks anymore. But we have Kataki doing this thing. Since Thalia loses the fact that she's legendary, uh, that means that I could, if I top deck it, play another Thalia here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, I'm sorry, what's going on? Oko. Pro green. Alright. Here it comes. Do they, can they kill it? Do they have another one? They used up one Abrupt Decay, they used up Fatal Push. Do they have a Nutter one? Good god, this game. Good god. <laughs> yeah, I mean, theoretically, I could have named Pro Blue. Uh, Abrupt Decay. Alright. Oi. So it's come to this. Well, okay. So they're at a virtual 11, because of course they'll eat it. Eat it. Eat it. We have called an Hitman on the whole Facebook group. <laughs> this is what they get for being anti-vax. <laughs> okay, think of crush shades. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. So, uh, a, a pride of lions, a gaggle of geese, a litter of kittens, right? Well, okay, that's when they're young. Uh, I, I don't know, a crowd of people. A complaint of Karens. Tell me that I'm not right. <laughs> Alright. Uh, stop and upkeep. Yep. Alright. So we're on upkeep. They're going to eat it now. Ta-da! Two. Nine to eleven. Never forget. Well, okay. Good now. I need a. I need a hero. I need a top deck. What? Actually, what top deck would get me out of this? Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Just. I'm just making sure we're we're good to go to. Uh, go to draw. Just clarifying here. 
Yeah, I, I hear you, phone. Alright, cool. Ooh! Right on time. Mm hmm. Well, you there's no way we don't have lands and we don't have we have a verdant catacomb all right let's say if we no, it doesn't matter if they didn't i would not be inclined to play this ghost quarter as i am uh and then crack it bop it uh oh boy oh boy we're about to lose our mickey mouse so we use Ghost Quarter to wipe... I mean, normally the answer would be Tropical Island, but Wasteland, were it to come off the top, can't hit four. It doesn't matter at this point, to be honest. We are we are not winning this game. They can actually start stealing stuff of mine with Oko now. Exchange uh, the food with one of my creatures, and I can't stop it anymore. So, unfortunately... You win 0% of the games where you concede. I don't even know what the right way to go to combat here would be. Well, Lurus doesn't do as much, just gains this life. Anything I throw out is going to die pretty dramatically. Oh, they don't have extra green mana! Okay. Well, we have something that we can try to do. Not final. So, they don't have extra green mana right now. We're looking at eight just from what we have here. These are the only ones that can attack and not... Like, they'll be able to get through uh, all the creatures except for Tarmogoyf. If I swing out with the Leon and Relic Warder as well, we have that issue. Kataki... So we're threatening 8, which obviously doesn't get us there just yet. Then kill two of my creatures, I can get one of them back with Luris. For all the good that does. Oh, man. Oh, man. So we're getting two through no matter what. Should not have played that ghost quarter here. Should not have. Oh dear. Oh dear! Oh boy. If I attack with Luris, that's obviously the one that gets eaten. Uh, we don't actually get much from keeping Luris around, unfortunately. Yeah, if we keep Luris, they can't eat something with Deathrite Shaman, or they can't eat a creature anyway with Deathrite Shaman, then we get one of them back. But that doesn't win us the game here. I don't have any moms left to protect anything. Um, do I swing out? Honestly, I might. Alright, let's see. Just counting to make sure. 9, 11, 15, 15. Swing 15, all you hear goes nothing. Oh. <clears throat> yep. They can actually give me a useless food token here. That's always fun. 
in exchange for one of my creatures. They try to take the Remorseful Cleric, I can sack it in response. But aside from that, we don't have too much going on here. Before damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Dread hit me for two. What are they taking out here? He push. Uh, I could have said no, no, no. We we want the damage. Okay. Take this would be six. So they go to five. Main two. Oh! You win 0% of the games you concede. We are trying our hardest, folks. I'm, I'm not sure how we get there, but I'm trying to do what I can. Is there any reason to save the Ghost Quarter here? Looking at their deck list, this is a long freaking game, dear god. They haven't come across any land destruction yet, or if they have, they've been holding it back. Patiently, as they as they should, perhaps. Could save it for relic for Arbiter, but you know, that would just be a blind top deck. And even if I did, they can steal stuff. They can steal all kinds of stuff. Huh. Whale. Whale. Is there any reason to throw this out? Sure. Boop. Trop. And I know that they don't have anything they can get here. Yeah. <laughs> fail to find. The the T being capitalized threw me off for a sec, but yeah, it's fail to find. <sighs> Well, my troops did what they could. Here, let's let's do a count again, just to make absolutely positively sure. It's enchantment, creature, land, uh, sorcery, instant. Enchantment, creature, land, sorcery, instant. Let me let me double check that. Land, creature, instant, sorcery, no artifacts. Uh, and then I should have an enchantment in my yard. Uh, five, six. Enchantment. <laughs> when has that ever come up? Yeah, maybe not. As tired as I'm getting, maybe I should concede just so that I can keep some mental energy going. Uh, to be fair though, I am playing the easier deck, so I guess it makes sense. Let's see. So it'll be a 6-7. Or a 1-2. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, but that's my clock. <laughs> clock with a Glock. Ooh. Now I have to do it. Although, which graveyard am I tar- Yeah, we need to target theirs, I think. Exile your yard. Ripperino. Ripperino. Uh, which will leave it at a creature, land, enchantment. That's it. I will eat Deathrite Shaman. No, I won't. 
Okay. Whee! Yeah, save, save it for my stuff. That makes sense. Uh... Boop! And that one is still... Not, not that it matters much, but that is still uh, not an elk. Okay, so 5-6 becomes... <laughs> saying dumb lines. Let's you know they're dumb lines. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, tangled hair. Ah, there we go. They got there. They got there. Ah, oh, Carm. I may actually ask to make some coffee. <laughs> actually, you know what? No, 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 no. It was best to say I could just turn on the camera, the webcam on mine, take it downstairs, and keep it going while we're playing, but no, no. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll do, I'll be, I'll be good. I'll be good. I'm sorry, what did they just put in the yard? Oh, Oko! There we go. <laughs> Good grief, buddy. Good grief. Yada yada does it. Wouldn't that make him five? Five, right? Is it, yeah, it should be five. Uh, starts at four, plus one to make it a three three. Plus, I'm um, plus exclamation, plus one on the food token. Yeah, we're talking about different things. They're talking about the Goyf uh, stats. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> it's all good. It happens. Alright, come on. Come on. Game two. May I make some coffee, please? Just ask my opponent to make sure it's okay. Because this has been a long freaking game. Look at, look at this. It's been an hour and a half on game freaking one. Ah! Okay. Well then, I will, uh, I will be right back. Oh, actually, let, let's do this. Let's initiate the scoop first. Finish and play another. Alright, uh, Karm got that one. Should I be doing this in game one, or should I wait until after the match before I... Don't record. Yeah, let's wait till after the match. Or should I? I don't know. Uh, whatever. We'll wait till after the match to, to report. Alright, so, keep existing open sideboard. I'll, I'll do this first. No, I should, I should be, I should go get the coffee first, so it can be being made. Oh, it's alright, it's alright. So if we're going to be on the play, I'll play Luris is still my waifu. Furries, am I right? <laughs> I'm not actually a furry. Uh, let's see. Deafening silence. I know exactly what a furry would say. Let me think about this first and then I'll, I'll go into that. Uh, so we don't need Containment Priest for this match. Actually, let's look at their sideboard. Tabernacle absolutely comes in. No questions asked. Another Abrupt Decay. I think they bring in Collector Ufi because of how much mana I have, how much fast mana. But on the play, maybe not. So Force comes in. So for sure, Tabernacle, Abrupt, Force. Then they're taking out, they have so many dead cards. They take out Flusterstorm, does absolutely nothing. Mental Misstep does little, but I guess you keep it in on the play. Or on the draw, rather. Um, force of Negation, they probably take out. They probably don't need that. Uh, you know, it's not as many as I thought it would be, actually. Leovold is is a 3-mana three 3-3. Three, three. Doesn't really do much. It, it can it, If I have Path or Wasteland, Strip Mine, Ghost Quarter, 
It's worth keeping in, but I don't know about as a three of. That seems like it'd be a bit much. Uh, so yeah, I, I mean, they have... Force of Will seems awkward. It, you, I don't know that you necessarily want to two-for-one yourself against the Hate Bear matchup. But maybe you keep it in just because you absolutely need to stop a hate piece. Not negation, though, because it doesn't hit the creatures. So, okay, not as not as bad as I thought. Flusterstorm, probably Daze, especially on the draw. Oh, no, no, Daze absolutely comes out on the draw. Oh, for sure. And then negation. So three, for sure, are coming out. Uh, as for me, given, given that, on the play, Deafening Silence could be okay, but they're not spamming Moxon and whatnot. This isn't really a spam deck. Uh, Lurus stays. I would very much like to bring in the other paths. I think that we can make that work. We'll take out some cards that don't do anything for us either. Rest in peace in a, a Lurus deck. I don't think this is the kind of matchup where we necessarily need it, but I'll bring in one. I, I believe that one is okay. So what do we take out? Well, we take out one Stony Silence, because it doesn't do enough in this matchup, and it actually hurts us more than it hurts them. I'll look into swords, see where I might be able to make that a thing. Uh, other cards that don't do anything here. Anything. Don't do anything. Kataki's not great. We'll take out Kataki. Even though there's not much of a, a downside to keeping it as a one of, uh, I don't think that that... Now, Chalice on the play we keep in. The same thing with Thorn. Uh, take out Deafening Silence doesn't do enough. It's okay, it's just not enough. And then we need two more to take out. Uh, what's the worst creature here? We, we might get bottlenecked on our mana with Leonin Relic Warder. And it doesn't have any shenanigans it can do with looping on, uh, on Lurus. This brings in, this lets us bring in more creature hate. We'll still have the two Relic Warders. I believe that this is right. So let me just go over this one more time to make sure. Deafening Silence, while it's okay, I mean, if you're going to have it, you want it on the play. I just don't think it does enough against them. Uh, it might, but I think that bringing in removal for their creatures is more impactful. I could very well be wrong, but I think that that's probably where we want to be. Alright, and then Thorn, yeah, we're, we're going to keep it. Oh, it should have shuffled me automatically. It did. Sure. Wait a minute, wait. wait. The command is 7C, I believe. There we are. Coffee time, BRB. Okay, and with that, I will indeed be right back. So give me just a quick sec. I'm back. All of the coffee. Thank goodness. Uh, we ended up having someone drop out from spectating, unfortunately. I don't blame them, it took us a hot sec. Alright, so this hand is fine. It has double white, wasteland, wasteland, lotus bow. Now, it could it could very well be the case that we don't have answers that line up to what we are playing against. Uh, but, this is better than going to six, for sure. So, I will keep. Whew. Start off with the flagstones, instead of the wasteland, of course. Yep. You know it. Ah. Uh, oh no. They they did mull. So drew seven again. Which I believe in untap is one unified action from this window. Yep, there it is. showing off the long hair. Here we are. Look like a... Who was it in, in uh, my comment section described me as looking like... Or in chat. I guess it was Rukulin who described me as looking like a, a nerdy t telemarketer. <laughs> Something like that. Telemarketer was part of it. I mean, she's not wrong. With the glasses especially, I do kind of look the part, don't I? And I wasn't, I've never been in telemarketing, but I have been in telecustomer service a couple times now, so. I mean, it, it's not wrong. <laughs> Alright, keep, alright, so let's go, turn one, right. play the land first, 
Not too far. There we go. Let's fire you off, too. I dare you. Spirit first, so that we can uh, use Frick's and Revoker to decide what to name later on. Silly hand is silly. Whee! <laughs> there we go. I think that Karn probably has this one. I don't know that this hand necessarily lines up with what... I mean, we cited in a bunch of spot removal, and we found zero of them. So, a three power, one toughness creature may actually not be enough. If this is just a Deathrite Shaman... Yeah, there's a Deathrite Shaman. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Oh yeah, let's not pass. That would be, that would be bad. That would be a little bit bad. Uh, just a mite, just a hair, just a touch. Ooh, okay. I could play the Thalia first, just in case they have something that they'd like to do with this blue mana. And then... Alright. We'll first go to combat. See if they want to make the trade. Swing three. I'll bet they'll take it. Deathrite's too good a card, right? Okay, there we go. Main two. Another night, another... Why on earth do I have... Just, of all things, why do I have that stuck in my head now? Oh, boy, that's fine. Alright. Let's try... Could really try to mess them up. Which one would I name, folks? Which one should I name? Yeah, if I had gone Thalia and then Wasteland, I could really shut them off of mana. But I think... I think it's better if I name... Mox Sapphire. I'm gonna... Yeah, let's go for it. Non-land. And then, boop, we'll drop Thalia next turn. It'll give them one mana that they can use because of Deathrite Shaman. But that's okay. That's okay. Alright, so they're stuck at potentially two mana here. Deathrite plus a land drop, which I'm sure that they'll have. So they still have a turn of reprieve, and then next turn we can go Thalia Wasteland, and hopefully just, just not let them play the game. That's, that's the idea anyway. Just do not let my opponent play magic. You and me both. <laughs> Woo! Vintage is such a weird format. The Untap Open, uh, Vintage in general, but especially the Untap Open League, can have some weird, I call them inbred metas, or stupid metas, where they fold it in on themselves so much that people are playing stupid cards, uh, which is kind of what, I, I guess all of mine are justifiable, but for example, Oath used to run Dragon Lord Atar, or not Atarka, Dragon Lord Dramoka. Dragon Lord Dramoka. I guess the idea was that you could theoretically actually cast Dramoka instead of having to rely on Oath. But of all, like, there's got to be something better you can do. Alright, eating it. Okay, God. Oh, well, okay then. Uh, okay, that was not a sarcastic I love vintage, apparently. Now, do they have Jace? Green. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna... I don't know what they named with this. Oh, hi! Ooh. Ooh! So, black was the other color. Ooh! Eesh! <laughs> it's a very technical term as well. Draw. 
Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Hmm. I mean, I guess we'll play it correctly and go to combat first. Two? Main two. Here's Thalia. And here's Mom. Hi, Mom. Days is out anyway. They don't have an island. Vintage is fun. <laughs> Reserved. Oh. <sighs> Reserved. Copyright. Trademarked. Oh, boy. Hmm. It's still too hot. Even for my taste, it's still too hot. Mmm. Oh boy, ooh, that's a fun feeling, you can imagine. Alright, so they drew an extra card. Ooh, ooh, my goodness, ow. Ooh. Glasses. Not too much because I do like it hot. Just enough. Alright. Get a forest. Get basic forest. You know you want to. Yep, okay. Wasteland is a card after all. So two ghost quarters and a strip mine will get will take even that away from them. Uh, and they have one land, their Verdant Catacomb, that they can use for... Oh, they also have a drop, that's right. So they have a couple turns. Potentially two mana here. If you're going to kill it, now's the time before Mom gets online. Hey, that rhymed. I'm sorry, I can't help myself. I cannot help myself. Well, they're at 10, so the clock is pretty short. If we were to get super risky and attack with Mom as well, we can make it a two-turn clock. I don't think that that's ideal. I am positive that that is not ideal. Well, hmm. All right, eating the Verdant, good. I agree. Verdant instead of Trop. I agree. I wonder, do they have any regrowth effects? I don't think that they do. They do not. Okay, good. Oh, that still kind of burns. It still smarts a bit. Hmm. So we could have a whiskers like some animals where you can feel from them first. Ooh. I mean, do it now. Do it now. Get to the chopper. Ooh. Oh boy. Come on, Goofy. Thus. Let's make him take four. Hopefully this one will be a lot shorter. <laughs> Unless something strange happens here. This should be a lot shorter. Oh, uh, let me let me clarify here. Swing four. Just to make sure that's clear. Swing four. Swing chariot. Okay. Chariot is a card in standard, so.
Bibbity Bobbity Bibbity Boppity Get off <laughs> Get off of my property Why not? Just trying to add some flavor to the game. Alright, obviously fail to find. And then pass. Alright, so they have one mana available, and they have Sylvan Library to try to get them out. That is just a one of, isn't it? Sylvan Library is a one of. Hmm. It's kind of hard to have more. It's not legendary, but it's not the kind of card that does you any good when you have redundant copies. For sure. And since this isn't a deck that's built around synergies with it, uh, it's just for card advantage in matchups where it matters, I, I would not want to go for more. It's such a good card in Vintage, though. Such a good card. Against some decks, when you get this turn one, you feel like you win the game. It's effectively two mana, draw four cards, and you'll get to do some sorting for the rest of the game. Ooh, hi. Hmm. I mean, if if the Phyrexian Revoker dies by trading with the Death Rite Shaman, either way we're denying them one mana. Badoop, badoop. Yep. Uh, hello, computer. Main two. Play you. Weep. Whoop. Here we are. Luris in hand. Da da. Uh, expand sideboard. Add Luris to hand. Like a boss. I said, there we go. There we go. And then we pass. Alright. One for the money. Two for the show. <sighs> There's no thought sees effect in their deck. Not even a mind twist. As much as I like mind twist, uh, it's very difficult to make it. it. It's surprisingly difficult to make it work. This was a card that was banned in... Well, it wasn't really vintage as we conceptualize it now, but there was a time when it was banned in what was then what would then become vintage. Uh, but there there wasn't an alternative like legacy like there is now. So I, I, to me, it doesn't feel the same. But channel and mind twist were both banned in type one uh, way back in the day. You'll play. That means you'll be on the uh, just you'll be on the play. Just making sure. Just making sure. All right. Cool. Finish and play another game. Oh, I probably could have done it a different way. Keep existing open sideboard. Okay, cool. So let's see. We're still in the same mode. Uh, so Chalice is not as good on the draw. Oh. Still, this opposing deck has so many one-drops, it might be worth it. Still hits Fatal Push. Does hurt us as well, though. Well, let, let's see what we have that we could bring in instead. Let's look at what other sideboard cards we have left. Excuse me. Definitely not uh, Deafening Silence. Definitely not. I think that there's a case for bringing in Rip right now. With one, I think we're okay. I don't, I don't think that we'd like to go to more. It can seriously hamper them, though. I think that one is alright. What would we take out? I mean, spot removal? But the spot removal... Chalice and spot removal is awkward. Obviously, they hit one another. Or they're, they're hit by Chalice. Spot removal is hit by Chalice.
It's one of the the issues with the deck, unfortunately. But Chalice is a one of. How likely is it to come up? Yes. The answer is yes. Uh, I'm honestly not seeing what I would bring in if I were to do that. Just the, the Relic Warders, maybe? <clears throat> but they're not bringing in that many artifacts or enchantments against me. Which is to say that they're bringing in none. I can't see a world where that ends up being the better play. We'll actually keep the Chalice. We'll keep it the way it is right now. There's nothing that Containment Priest ends up hitting. Deafening Silence is for play, not draw. And really not for this matchup anyway. I'm just going through one more time to make sure. Don't need Kataki. I guess I could bring in Kataki in place of Chalice. Is that right? No. Lock it in. Lyris of the DDR. Companion. I'll always declare that. But, you know. You know. You know. Not like I have any <laughs> three drops anyway. As you do. It's not just three, but, you know, I don't even have three. Uh, so let's draw seven. Flip. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Still no Arbiter. For the life of me, dear God. Would Arbiter please show up? Please? Pretty please? Buddy, buddy, buddy. But come on. Uh, one sec. Yeah, you, I, you're in here. All right. Just checking something. We're good. All right, and because it's looking for a card in deck, it doesn't change the order of the cards in the deck. You may have noticed they were alphabetical there. Uh, no, they're not alphabetical in the deck now. All right, so I'll wait on them to decide. Wait on Carmi to decide. I right. keep. All right, let's go. Turn one, Thalia. Let's do it. Hopefully. Hopefully, anyway. In before it gets dazed. Ooh. I mean... Mm -hmm. Right on time, Jalice. If we were on the play, it would have cut out one card from our hand. But that's alright. Alright, I'm gonna make you do it. Oh, a deer, a female deer. Maybe Phyrex and Revoker. Not while well, they've no cards in yard. Alright. Run it out. If they force here, at least... Like, we, we did it on the draw. Alright. And then pass. Alright. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nothing in the yard just yet. I'm sure there's a fetch lane here. There's too many in the deck for them not to have it, right? I know that's not true, but that's how it feels. For sure. So let me check my card to make sure we have enough time. Unless this game goes on for long. Oh, 37 minutes left on the card. And I, I should have emptied it, but it didn't have much on it beforehand, so... Huh, alright. Well, there's that. Untap, upkeep, draw. Draw. Alright. Let's go to combat first. hi yeah Alright, main two. We're going to open ourselves up to counter magic here. Thorn. Just right out in the middle of the battlefield. 
like a Neanderthal. Okay, here we go. All right, so we're we're fetching. I'm gonna counter it, maybe. Am I going to regret? Well, we'll we'll see. We'll find out. I, I need to cast the path before the revoker so that I get some use out of it before Chalice does its thing. Yeah, so they had to eat something in order to make it work. Okay, there we go. We got there. It it worked out. That was that was correct. It it looked weird, but that was correct. Ah, we'll put it close to the middle. Alright. Well, I could have been better. That's okay, though. It's easier for them to get rid of Thalia than it is Thorn. Abrupt Decay will hit either, but Fatal Push will only hit Thalia. The Thalia. The Thalia. Jeez. Mamma mia. Delicioso. Okay. Path is a little bit awkward when you have thorn effects in, but they're going to get one mana out of Deathrite Shaman anyway for some time, I'd imagine. Nope, never mind. They're out. They're out. We don't have one ourselves. So this would be a three mana chalice on one, if we were to fire it off. Okay, let's see what we get here. Hi, Mom. Oh, hey, Mom. Alright. All right. Mm. Let's do it. Let's get all of our one drops out before we have to play this. Alright, then they get a frest. And there's Mom. Pass turn. Pass of the turn. Oh, high mental misstep. Two mana mental misstep. Okay. Alright. Yeah, they paid the two, didn't they? Chat disappearing like that is a little weird. Uh, underground sea trot. Yep. Okay. Hawkeye. Ooh. Alright. This is Oko. Yup. Alright. I wonder what they're going to do. <laughs> Would you like to turn my thorn? They could turn thorn into a... Uh, uh, into a 3... Th no. No. If they were really worried about taxing effects, they could do that. Obviously they won't. Move it up. Alright, sorry Chalice, you're going to have to wait. They can't do anything here, so it resolves. Uh, add note. Uh, Oko, Thief of... Uh, formats. Oko, Thief of Formats. Why not? Since we're just being silly, I guess it works. Um, and then... Okay. I, I should probably wait, then. I suppose. Uh... Yeah, well, we should probably save the Relic Warder. I suspect. I think that that's probably right. Just hold up on it for a bit. They have actual Moxen. They have Sylvan Library. So maybe we should wait. Plus, we don't need that clock right this second. Plus, if they can deal with a Revoker, they'll start making tokens. But they'll turn them into non-artifacts, so that may not be ideal. Maybe not. Also, I, I should note, uh, you may exile, so it is a may. I won't have to hit my own stuff. Of course, comes to worse. Thinking. I mean, it's pretty obvious we have another creature in hand. Hmm. 
or I could improve the clock now. One way I could lose is by not having a sufficient clock. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it now. Exile your... Tolkien. <laughs> Is it? It's IE, right? I I think. No, since we're since they're AFK anyway, let me find out. Yeah, it, it's IE. Yep, T O L K I E N. J R R Tolkien. Sweet. There we go. And then we'll we'll take care of this. Yeah, in a bit. Give him a sec. I am tapped out though, so feel free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it happens. I have no room to... I mean, I just went and made coffee. Although, we do have limited time on the card. And it's a decently long game. Maybe. Maybe. How much time do we have? 30 minutes? Uh, give it a sec. Oh, they moved in. Cool. Yeah, well, I see. Sweet, sweet. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh huh. Right. Draw one card from deck. One cad. Pick a cad. Any cad. By the way, chalice on two obviously hurts me, so we wouldn't do that anyway. Ah, there it is. Alright, well, we still we still played it correctly. We still had to get the Revoker out there, because Oko's on the field. That would not have been fun. <sighs> still, still, might still be worth it. So, Cards in Yard is three. Starting to... I mean, they're a four, effectively, because of Verdant Catacombs. We're getting to the point where Dig Through Time and Treasure Cruise are real threats. They're real possibilities. Now, thankfully, they can't drop their own wasteland, uh, because I have all basics. They'd have to hit one of their own lands, which is never worth it when you're trying to just build for Delve. I say never. I guess if you have Recursion, but... <laughs> Sure, Vintage Loam, let's go. Vintage Loam that would also be running Treasure Cruise and Dig Through Time. I mean, maybe we could make it work. Good. Uh, chisel the neck beard down to a point, get the Jafar look going on. It does feel really comfy. When it's this, when it's this thick and you can rub it without rubbing the skin, uh, it actually does feel pretty comfy. This is what an animal's fur must feel like, right? When you're you're just rubbing their fur and just... Yeah. It feels good. I, I like it. I like it. And it's just something to do. Just something to do. Alright, so drew from deck to hand. Da 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 da. No land yet. Move from hand to play. Never mind, they have. Okay. The Rain Catacombs was the land this turn. There it is. <laughs> Alright. Insert Jeopardy theme here. <laughs> Magic is hard. Oko's abs are harder. Look at that. Look at them abs. He, he has like, what is that? One, two, three, four pack above, like an eight pack above his belly button? And nothing below? What is going on there? <laughs> uh, sure. And then the, the leaf there just to draw attention, I guess. What I had heard is that, uh, so there, there had been a thing where uh, people were saying, you know, there's too much, uh, I don't know, sec sexualizing of, like, female characters in Magic, 
And one of the responses could have been to tone... Oh. Sure. Do they have a... No, they have Brazen Bar, but they don't have Vidal... Or Vendillion Click. Oh, Force! Let's see. One thing they could have done is toned it down. But instead, they tried to make it equal by turning it up on the dudes, apparently. Which is why you also have, like, All Seed of Life's Bounty. Or I think it's called, so yeah. Uh, which is showing it off as well. Uh, Elysian Dry- or, uh, the three-mana Dryad that is an enchantment creature. Yeah, that thing. It is why you have stuff like that. Thank you. Oh, boy. So we can play a 3-mana Chalice, or we can get Luris to hand. Luris to go and get... what? Oh my goodness. And apparently they've gone in the other direction now, and they're going to try to tone it down for both. I, I don't care too much, but... Um, as long as it's, I mean, it's it's a game for 13 up. I, uh, there's obviously a line you can cross, but just showing skin, I don't think qualifies. Okay. Initial temptation. Uh, either way, we're going to be attacking Oko here. Either way. Can add lures to hand. But we don't have the ability to play Luris and get something else, aside from Mox Pearl. If we're not careful, though, we're going to get Luris turned into an Elk. And right now we don't have anything to combat that. And the Mox uh, Pearl would still actually cost one mana because of Thorn. So we can go three, if we don't find a land, we can't play the Mox Pearl. So it's probably better to play the Chalice here, right? Swing to it, Oko. One. Alright. Let's put the counter on it. One. Oh, hello. One. And then it gives me the prompt anyway. I'm gonna move this over here with Thorn and then say pass the turn. Yeah, Oko can take the game over on its own. So, uh, yeah, we might we may be in a pickle. May be in a pickle. Just a bit. If they just, if all they do is just plus two on Oko a bunch, then we can only balance it. Hit it for two, they gain, or goes up two, hit it for two, gain it. Yeah. That does not a win make. Even with Chalice shutting down a fair number of cards in their deck, by the way, uh, yeah, two Force of Vigors in the sideboard, so we could be seeing more of that action, and we probably will. As many artifacts as we have, and, and enchantments for that matter. Oh, but god, we need to find another Phyrexian Revoker. Now. It's really slow getting, uh, Luris just so that we can get Phyrexian Revoker. And if we get Luris without the mana to play the Revoker, then Luris just gets turned into an Elk and we lose that line. Our 3-2 becomes a 3-3. Three, three. Nothing else going on. Hmm. Oko, literally the same card, except you make that plus one a minus one instead. So that if you make a creature for them, the creature can kill it immediately, assuming no blockers. And then Oko is still good, but not. Silly. Why is this thing a, why is this a thing? Easily the best planeswalker for its mana cost. Not even close. This doesn't affect ruling. Like cast a zero mana for one. Oh. Like uh Mox. You'd 
be good. Yeah, converting mana cost. CMC would still be zero. Mana cost does not equal CMC. There we go. That, that's why converted mana cost is a thing. It's to clarify that it's the spell's cost notwithstanding colors or modifiers. So yeah, they, they could cast a one mana mox and they'd be able to get away with it. That's okay. But consequently, they could not cast an Ancestor Reek, well, that's already in the yard. They could not cast Fatal Push, uh, even though it would cost two. It's all good. Yeah, oh god. Well, that's a 3-3 three, three now. Ah, fun. Fun. <laughs> I need you, Frex Invoker. Oh, never mind. So not an elk, then. Black Elk. Elk Lotus. There we go. Black Elk might mess people up, because it is a green... No, oh, is it? Green Elk, yeah, yeah. Had to make sure. Oh, God. Treasure Cru... Dig through time! <laughs> In response... I cry every Tim. <laughs> there we go. I cry every time. <laughs> Six stealth, three for blue. Uh, three for two blue and thorn. Yep. 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 So they exiled. Uh, yep. Black Lotus, Froding Cata comes forth of vigor, ancestral recall abrupt. Mental misstep. Alright, here we go. So yeah, they, they hit six. Itchy nose is itchy. The joy of having a game state chat like this is that we can uh, verify that sort of thing. Thank goodness. But then when you click out of it, it disappears. Alright. Yeah, give them a sec to, uh, from deck to hand. Oh, they already finished that. Moved one card. Uh, should be two. I guess they're deciding on the other one. Yeah, that, that might do it. it. It may let them resolve it separately, rather than showing move two cards unknown deck to hand. Oh yeah, yeah. I actually considered running a, like a Demir or Bant Luris deck in uh, Vintage this time around. I still wanted to play Luris because Luris just got him banned. Uh, and I wanted to play powerful cards like this because they don't get stopped by Luris. It's only permanent cards. Strange as that is. But I wanted to play Hate Bears instead. It's just, I don't know. It's it's simpler, and I wanted to have a lot of game against shops, which is why the deck looks so honed on beating shops. And it is. You're, you know, it's a deck that makes all colors, thanks to its Moxen, and has a lot of colorless thanks to its land destruction, but still runs a place that have Leon in Relic Water. So we were we were trying to as best we could. We were trying to be built to beat that deck. Alright, so this should make it's plus one. Where should it have? Four? Let's see. Four made of food tokens. Six. Should be it. Plus two. There we go. They got there. They got there. Got there. Alright. Anything else you got? No worries. Try <laughs> Thank you again, though. <laughs> I misread that as try again. Yeah, we're not winning this game. I, I have a funny feeling we're not winning this game. Just gonna go out on a limb and say. Probably not. Okay, Mom, you're fun, and this is a green creature, to be fair. This is green. But, unfortunately, Mom, we can't cast you anymore. 
If we had Chella, or if we had Cavern in the deck, we could find a way because of all the humans, but that's not an option. So, uh... Okay. Um... So I guess let's add Lures to hand. It's that or play the pedal. Alright, so they got there. Main two. Lyris Prudence. Uh, I'll, I'll tap my mana in just a sec. Give me a give me a moment. Oh, I, I realized that last game I added Lyris to hand without revealing it, so I should have added it to the field. I think I just accidentally put it straight into the hand instead, because there's not a very good def uh, line. I mean, there kind of is. A little bit. Speaking of... Alright. And then... Le Pass. Alright. Alright, Mom. Alright, Mother. Mom! Mom! Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, there we go. Ta -da. Okay. I will at some point try to bring Mind Twist back into Vintage. By the way, fun fact, Mind Twist, not restricted. And it likely won't be for quite some time, because even in its unrestricted state, there aren't that many decks, at least not decks that are doing well in Vintage, that are running the card. Yeah! Tells you about how good that card is. I mean, it's still fantastic, but generally speaking, hand attack is not great in Vintage anyway. Uh, especially one for one hand attack like Thoughtseize. It's just too easy for them to build those cards right back up. Even something like Mind Twist, while it is more than a one for one, isn't necessarily great, unfortunately. Unfortunately. The, the kinds of plays that really take advantage of it, like, like turn one, dark grit, dark grit, mind twist, <laughs> uh, while they do put you up on cards, they're rare enough that they're not really worth it, and if you get countered, you just lost more cards. Hmm. Hmm. That said, I could see some sort of deck using Soul Ring, Mana Vault, Mana Crypt, cards like that to break the, uh, the lack of mana, I suppose, even on turn one. A black artifact deck of some sort. Or black-blue, so that we could run Tinker, Bola Citadel, silly stuff like that. If it weren't for Bola Citadel, we could even run Lyris in the deck. But I think Citadel is, is way better for what we're trying to do, especially if it's a ramp deck, because then we could actually hard cast it. We wouldn't need Tinker. Oi! Swing three, take three. Yup. Alright, no death rides, but we have a Goyf in, in the, on the field. Goyf is here. Hi, Goyf. Uh, artifact, creature, instant... That's it, 3-4. Artifact, creature, instant, 3-4. 3-4 by my count. Yep, alright, we both got there. Good, good, good. Yep. Silly Revoker. Giving two types. They'd have it anyway because I have a creature and an artifact separately. Giving. Giving. A traitor all along. It is Phyrexian, after all, a sleeper agent. There we go. I actually was thinking while I was giving the, the you know, oh, no, 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 no. Still 3-4. Oh, yeah, they got there. 
Because they wouldn't... <laughs> My comment maybe made it seem like I wouldn't have artifacts without it. Oops. Oops. Oh no. Alright, so on my turn, since they passed to me. Alright, please, Tech, please. <laughs> Revenge of the mom group. Revenge of the Facebook mom group. <sighs> well, we can't just run Luris out. Counting the land preemptively on it by accident. Okay. Uh, well, F. That's a big ol' F in chat. Good. Just making sure. If we can get a land here, then next turn we can go Lurus, Phyrexian, Revoker. And name Oko. But we can't drop Lurus until we have a second mana. Or uh, an additional mana. Uh, oh, we're, in, we're in trouble, folks. We're in trouble, Barney Rubble. Ooh. Isn't that Cockney slang for trouble, Barney Rubble? Mm. Might have something EOT. Oh, by the way, they, they are a Brazen Borrower deck, so the Echoing Truth side of it, the Petty Theft, can be used for Chalice, or to get rid of it. So, they're not out, I mean, we're not going to forever be able to have that going on. <sighs> if I could play these moms, then we'd have something we could do. But alas, uh, with Chalice out. See, this is where Chalice hurts. It still shuts down more of their deck than it shuts mine, but... Oh man, it hurts here. Yeah, it really does. I strongly considered running a one of Cavern of Souls, just so that I could name a creature type, say, human. Uh, if I had Giver of Runes, I would name Cleric, because it would be both of them. Uh, so that I could run Chalice of the Void and still occasionally have an out. But that's really all that Cavern does. Well, it, it also lets us run Hatebearer's Alec Thalia and not have to worry about it quite as much. Uh, but there's also too much creature diversity. If we were all humans, or mostly humans, that'd be fine. And a variant that runs cards like Champion of the Parish and Dahlia's Lieutenant could make it work. But these, those aren't hate bears, those are just clocks. Just clocks. Generally speaking, I prefer hate bears and vintage because they keep you alive long enough to win on something like that. Nevertheless, there is a balance you need. Like game one, I let them live too long and then they, they got there. So, you can't be all claw uh, all hate bears, unless you they are fantastically good. See, like, Magus of the Moon, I suppose. That would be great here. Alright. So that should be S S6. Alright, just clarifying. Part of the reason you wait for S6, or S whatever number, is it's like a, a way of saying final answer. Like, I, I am committing to this board. That way they don't, like what I did back in game one where I tapped them and uh, I said thinking. So I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Alright. I am the beats now. I am the captain now. <laughs> yup. Alright, so I took it. That's a... what was that Tom Hanks movie? The Somali pirates that uh, took over the ship. I haven't actually seen that, I've only seen the commercials, but of course the, the most popular... I'm decaptain now. The most popular line. Huh. Have elk. Smart. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Elk with flowers. Hello? I got her. One, two, 
three, hello? No, that, not like that, not like that. Not, why even give me the option if you're just going to make me do it again? All right. It, it is a lotus petal after all, so might as well, might as well. Anything else we have? Elk du jour. All right. What's up? Aha. Jeez. All right. So even a land. Well, it wouldn't have saved me because I would have had to tap mana to play it, and so it wouldn't work for Luris just then. Holy crap! So they can attack with both Goyfs. Got five. Even if we find it this coming turn, we're probably too slow, honestly. Yeah, yeah, we're too slow at this point. But you win 0% of the games where you concede, so I will keep playing. Next turn, we'll, if we don't find the land, we'll force the Luris anyway and hope that they don't see the line. They will, but let's hope that they don't. Also, they could just, oh no, they could just take a, uh, well, yeah, they, they could just take Lyris. So never mind, we don't want to do that. They wouldn't even have to turn into an elk, they could just straight up take it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Are you kidding me? Oh, they're doing it pre-combat. Hmm, okay. Elk with jetpack. Alright, this is absolutely the correct thing to do. They're keeping me off of mana for playing Luris. And then, one, two, three, one, two, three. Wonder if I could just hit zero and then it pops up the message and I could just hit three after that. All right, tabernacle. Good gracious. Yeah, guess what we're not getting to this game. Both moms came on the turns after Chalice resolved. <laughs> Good games, mate. Yeah, at this point, at, at this point, it is sure. Uh, un unfortunately, this this is game. So it may seem like an early concession. We did not have a way out of that. The blows pull double the K off of Dig. <laughs> That definitely works. Made a huge misplay game one. At least you still made it. I'm glad that it didn't cost you. Alright. Well, what would the misplay have been? What was it by chance? By the way, th those uh, tabernacles aren't like a weird meta. Oh, they might be a weird meta call for how creature heavy uh, the Untap Open League meta tends to be, but it's also just good against shops, period. Uh, Ravager shops in particular. Uh, well, Ravager shops. Not as much Golo shops. Uh, on one, when you were beating me with a spirit, tapped your green source so you could hit my. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. You were at five. Yep. So you could have hit my graveyard without me being able to gain life. I, I do remember that.
got you. At least you made it out. Mwa ha 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 ha. Have to rewatch the VOD to see it, but I think it could have put me to one. It could have put me to one. I mean, yeah. Let's see. That's that's about right. Oh, how'd you sideboard by chance? But by chance. All right. For me, you, and let's let's take a look at the rest. So find cards. Path. Path. We've already used one path, so it's in the yard, so I'll just keep it there. And then, what was the other one? Because I could have sworn we had a fifth card. Kept the rip in. Rip and tear. No, maybe we didn't. Let me check my graveyard just to make sure it's not here. Nope, that's it. Uh, Moon Chalice isn't worth it. Seemed like it would hit you more than me, and I could play my one drops first. It's better in a humans variant that can run cavern. Yeah, it, it, to be fair. Cyberplane was weird, I'd leave in three ways. On turn one, it's great. Yeah, that too. Yeah, it's so much better on the play, but I thought it might be alright here. It, it would have likely been another creature. It would have been another Relic Warder. It would have been another Relic Warder. Which would have just been another 2-2 in this match.